Today I'm going to show you how to build to iOS using Unity. And you will not need an Apple developer account for this, which costs $100 a year. This is just to test your apps on your phone. It is not to publish to the Apple Store. If you are going to do that, you will need the Apple developer account. And we'll need to follow additional instructions not listed in this video. So first, we'll need to install two things. We'll need to install Xcode. So if you don't have Xcode installed, you need to do so. For that, you just go to developer.apple.com slash Xcode. Then you press download and website. And then you have to log in with your Apple ID. If you don't have one, just go and create one. At the bottom, it says create yours now. And then you want to scroll down until you find Xcode with a version number. And you'll want to install that. The version might be different than the one I'm showing you, depending when you watch this video. And so basically, once you download that, it will take some time because it's rather large. Then you want to press the downloaded zip file and let that expand and go through that process. And once you are finished, you should have Xcode open and ready to go. The other thing we need to install is the iOS package in Unity. So in the Unity Hub, you go to your installs, then to the version that you want to add the iOS support to, click the three dots, add modules, and then add the iOS module to that Unity version. This will allow us to build to iOS, and that will also take a little bit of time to install. And if you install this while you're running Unity and you don't see it pop up in Unity, you might want to restart Unity after installing this module. OK, so back in Unity, imagining you already have your game built, easier said than done. We want to go to the file build settings and make sure you add your scenes as needed. Then we want to switch the platform to the iOS module that we just downloaded. And once you switch that platform, we'll want to select development build. So development build lets us deploy the app to our phone without needing any certificates or needing to sign the app to verify that we created it. Please note that a development build will not be accessible after two or three days. So this is purely for testing purposes. That's the majority of what we have to do here. If you like, we can go into the player settings and then make sure that we have iOS version 11 or 12 and above. I recommend iOS version 12 as the minimum API version because newest versions of Unity will support iOS version 12 and above. And you can also change different settings such as the bundle identifier, which is com dot your company name and then dot the name of your app, which is used to identify your app. In our case, it doesn't really matter since we're testing. And you can also change the name of the application, the icon, etc. So once you're done there, we'll want to go back into the build settings and press build and run. And that will open up a pop up tab, basically where you want to save the build. I like to make a new build folder and save it there within the repository. And if you get a weird error that it cannot find Xcode, there is an even weirder fix for it. We'll want to go to Xcode and then at the top we go and select Xcode, settings, location, and then under the setting set command line tools, it should have an Xcode option already selected. If it doesn't, click that drop down and select it. And if it does, still click that drop down and reselect it. And it'll then ask you to input your password for Apple ID and be sure to do so. That somehow resets it and then Unity will be able to recognize Xcode. And if Unity still doesn't recognize Xcode, make sure to restart Unity, restart Xcode, and maybe even restart your computer if that's not working. So after we build it and run it, Xcode should pop up and it will start to compile your code at the top bar near the right side. But it will not let us deploy it to our phone because we need to have a signing certificate. So then here we want to click the signing and capabilities tab option. And there under the signing section, we want to click automatically manage signing. So Xcode can manage the profiles for us and make sure the bundle identifier matches the one we made in Unity. And then we also need to add a team. So for the team, you can just be yourself on a team. If you don't have a team already, you can add one. And basically, you'll need to log in with your Apple ID to create a new team. And once you create that team, make sure to assign it to that team section there. And so you'll actually want to connect your phone to the Apple device. I have a cable that I bought that connects it directly, which I believe was $30. 
and you'll also have to go into the settings of your iPhone and enable developer mode. So to do that, we can go to the settings, privacy and security. Then we can scroll all the way down in that section and click developer mode. And you'll want to flip that switch so that it's on and you'll have to then restart your phone for the changes to take effect. And so once you've connected your phone to the Mac, be sure at the top bar where it says the app and then a little arrow to the any iOS device that your iPhone is selected. You can click that and select your iPhone so that it builds to your iPhone. And then you'll want to click the little plus button on the left side so that it starts to now build it to your phone. And after a while, it should say build succeeded and the app should open on your phone. If not, there's a little error icon or warning icon at the top bar that you can click on and then browse through the different errors or warnings that your app is throwing and fix those. And so finally, we have the app on the phone. However, we actually need to trust the app and trust the developer of the app. If not, Apple will not let us run this developer application that we've loaded onto the phone. So under the general settings, you can scroll down to the VPN and device management section. And then at the bottom, there should be a developer app which should have your email associated with it. And if you click that, your app should come up there and you'll need to press trust. So once you've trusted yourself, which is ironic, then we are finally allowed to go back to our home screen and click our app and open the app. If you're making an AR app, you'll have to allow the use of the camera. And I also personally allow it to connect to local devices on the network because I trust myself that I will not accidentally inject the virus somehow. Well, I hope that helped you because it took me quite a while to get this figured out and working. And if it did, make sure to subscribe and like. And thank you to all my wonderful patrons for their continued support. The link is in the description. So see you next time.